and we back today we're continuing us rebuilding teams that made big trades in the trade deadline and today we're rocking with the indiana pacers now i think i rebuilt the indiana pacers a few months ago when they announced that they wanted to trade sabonis and miles turner but i didn't expect them to make this type of deal they got tyrese halliburton they got a nice little young court they got some picks for karis avert my job is to help the indiana pacers win a championship for the first time maybe ever i don't really know i'm not a historian but i don't remember a time when they won a championship be sure to leave a like subscribe if you're new let me know in the comment section which team i need to rebuild next today's video is brought to you by raid shadow legends this is the first mobile game to give you a true console level experience and they set the buy real high y'all and there's no turning back explore the millions of champion combinations and master countless tactics as you take on raid bosses dungeon runs campaign battles and pvp arena matches i'm like y'all i've seen the raid shadow legend ads all over the place and one day i decided to actually download it and i've been having a lot of fun when i load in i'm using bellinor i mean bro be hitting people so hard he's perfect for the boss battles and he also helps the team because when he crits with his default attack he gets a 30 percent crit rate to the rest of the team or i'm using ignatius who's also a heavy hitting champion so there's a lot of stuff going on this month Month, so this is why you should get in we're talking about a fresh rotation of the brutal hydra boss we talk about a ton of events and tournaments every single day including valentine's day where you'll be able to get your hands on a brand new champion so this is the perfect time for you to get involved in raid shadow legend so hit that link in the description or scan that qr code we're talking about a free epic champion tay rail 200 silver one energy refill and one xp boost and one anxious shard so you can summon awesome champions as soon as you get them in game and the players can find these bonuses in their inbox i want to say thank you again to ray shadow legends for sponsoring this video hit that link in the description scan the qr code and join in on the fun so this is what the team looks like um they got a nice young core like i mentioned isaiah jackson is somebody i want to help to be decent um of course you have Tyrese Halliburton. They traded for Jalen Smith, giving away Tory Craig. I think they got a second round pick in that. Gogo Badatsi's on this team. And of course, I'm using someone else's roster. So I got to make sure that they gave us the right draft picks because I, you best believe I want my first round pick from the Karis Avert trade, right? even if it's going to be in the 20s because the Cavs are good. But you know, we got some tradable assets as well down here later down the line. Obviously, we can't make any trades now because we're past the trade deadline. But I need us to suck. I need us to be bad. I want to, you know what I'm saying? We got the 2022 draft class in here. And a lot of these dudes are who? Hooper hoopers some of these guys okay it's kind of like a top three draft is what i'm hearing from a lot of people so i do i do want to um have a top pick even though uh paolo is all the way down here if we can steal him at number eight if we have the number eight pick w uh, but i do want chet or jabari smith on the team but we got some other players to choose from um and i'm trying to figure out what exactly i want to do for this rebuild because obviously we got older players like malcolm brogdon who can flip this offseason even miles turner who i know pacers fans absolutely love i might flip him this offseason um, I just got to figure out how the heck we do this because the Indiana Pacers are not going to be a team that's going to sign a big name free agent. So even if I freed up cap, we probably won't sign somebody. The way the Indiana Pacers have been able to do what they do is drafting solidly and making trades around the edges, like trading Paul George for Sabonis and Victor Oladipo, and both of them ended up being an All-Stars, and, you know, different trades like that, and now, I guess, trading Sabonis for a guy that I want to develop into a future All-Star, Tyrese Halliburton. I'm going to simulate through the rest of the season, and then we're going to really get it going. All right, so season wrap, Luka won MVP, but LaMelo... Huh. That's peculiar. Um, I'm going to give it to, to a guy that's actually... So, wait. On his resume, it's going to say Rookie of the Year two years. Mm. Huh. I could make a Ben Simmons joke, but I'm not going to. How about that? Why is LaMelo still a rookie in this, this, this game right now? This sim. I'm already not liking it. This 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 is sim that I picked up from somebody else. I'm already not liking it. It's it's kind of iffy if you ask me. All right, so here are NBA teams. Uh, yada yada yada. Do you care about that? No. We stayed at the the 13th seed, which is not amazing. I wanted us to drop, but then Malcolm Brogdon came back from his injury and he helped us win some games. So 32 or uh, 31 games on the season, we end up winning the last three of the season, which is detrimental to our lottery odds. But whatever. Um, maybe we'll get some luck. And you know what I'm saying? Ended up doing what we're doing. The Toronto Raptors went on a crazy streak and stole the one seed, I guess. But they ended up losing to Ben Simmons, Kevin Durant, and Kyrie Irvin. All right. That's the team we got to look out for, obviously. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The offseason where things are really about to get done. I got to make sure that we ended up with a top three pick. What are the odds that we get? It? Oh, we have the seventh highest odds? That's terrible. That's, that's god awful. But we going to get it. Nope. We ended up falling to number nine. That's incredible. So we got nine and then we got 21. Okay. All right. Here's what I'm thinking. Of these teams that have top picks, how many of them are trying to win now? The Magic or not? They're not trading me the first overall pick. The Knicks probably would rather keep that pick, obviously. The Spurs would keep that pick. 
the Kings, we just made a deal with the Kings about them trying to get good, right? They mad that they didn't make the play in. Maybe we make a secondary trade. Fourth overall pick, potentially? I mean, I don't know. They say it's a top three player draft, but like Jabari, I'm sorry, Paolo is projected to go number seven in some of these mocks. Uh, Number six here and number three here. Oh, no. We're not going to be able to jump into the th top three, man. Malcolm Bride, you sold us by being decent. Uh, Can we make a trade with the Kings? Like, hey, y'all want another one of our players? Ha, <laughs> smiles. The Orlando Magic said, give us Reese. We'll give you the first overall pick. No, we're not doing that. What about the, the Kings? I mean, okay, so every team is going to be like, give us Reese and we'll give you the pick that you want. But on my team, Reese is untouchable, honestly. I think we settle for the number nine pick, which is trash. And we just hope that we hit on the draft pick and, and, and do things a little bit differently. Now, maybe we could get up to number seven and, and hope that Palo drops here. Uh, but I don't want to give up. Okay, so like this. TJ McConnell in number nine for number seven to move up a couple spots. TJ McConnell is going to get worse this season anyway. Move up to number seven. There it is. We move up to number seven. That's what we can, We're convincing our fans that we're doing it the right way. Malcolm Brogdon, I just feel like a guy that we can trade eventually, but we got to figure out what team will want Malcolm Brogdon. But I don't even think there's a rush, even though he was the reason why we didn't get a top three pick. I'm just being, I'm being honest with you. I'm being honest with you. We were losing. Malcolm Brogdon came back and things just look dramatically different. All right. We watched the draft because we need somebody to drop. Oh, wow. Um, okay. That's a good sign for us. That's a very good sign for us. And now this got me thinking, should we try to trade up to number five? There's Jabari. Okay. Don't take Chet number three. Do not check. Okay, Chet is going to number three. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I'm going to try to trade up to number five. Can I somehow trade up to number five? Uh, because he's there. And I'm afraid that they're going to they're gonna select him. I'm afraid they're going to select him. So number five, um, we'll give you number seven. Obviously, they're going to say no to that. But what's your counter? Justice Winslow. And then they want our, they want our first round pick that's at the back of this draft. They're going to give us Eric Gordon, who I don't want at all but we can flip him in this draft as well. You got yourself a deal. We just traded up because we needed our guy and our guy in this case is Paolo. There we go, welcome to Indiana. Now, I can tr I'm can. i gonna trade Eric Gordon to make this a, a pseudo three team trade. The Lakers could use some help. We're gonna take one of their first rounders and, and send Eric Gordon to the Lakers. You're welcome, Rob Palenka and Lakers fans. We did that for you. We did that for you. All right, so this is our other pick. I'm just going to take the best guy available or the highest projected guy. And we go, we're going to move on to the next. I think we we did pretty solid in that to end up with the fifth overall pick after dropping to number nine. Number nine ended up being Jaden Ivey, so they didn't lose the draft either. Uh, but we got one of our building blocks on this team. Let's get it. So him and Reese are like the two guys on our team that we really in love with. I'm going to bring all these guys back and then we'll make the decision next year if Gogo Badazzi is part of the future or even Jalen Smith is a part of the future. Okay, I need Reese to hit the 85 overall club and he hits 86, so that's great. Um, Buddy Hill drops. We're going to trade Buddy Hill probably this season um, and probably Miles Turner uh, just because he's on the last year of his deal. And yeah, I mean, Jabari jumped up seven. I'm sorry, Jalen jumped up seven. But the reason why these jump ups are so big, remember we are using a, somebody else to start today and they've been trying to do things on the fly. So don't think too much about somebody jumping up seven because real life, he didn't really jump up seven because right now in the game, Josh, Josh Green is a 76 or so he actually jumped up two this offseason. Just, just don't think about it. We're going to keep it moving. All right, we're going to keep it moving. Trey Block, Malcolm Brogdon. Trey Block, Miles Turner. Trey Block, Buddy Hill. Trey Block, that's it. Everybody, Goran Dragic. I mean, I, I guess we signed him to fill the roster. So all those guys on the Trey Block. All right, Reese, I need you to be incredible this season. I need you to be our star player. I'm going to put you as the, oh, they already did this. Okay, you as the one option. Don't even worry about everybody else. You and the one option. The rookie is the two option. First game of the season against the Chicago Bulls. We're going to lose by one point. That's okay. Miles Turner had a beautiful game, but that's all right. I have it so that other teams can offer us trades. I'm going to go to the trade deadline. See a team that is buying. This is different. Usually the videos, I'm going to do looking for somebody that's selling. I'm going to look for teams that are buying. Oh, God, that's not good. Buying and contending and try to dump off some of these players for future assets, young players, or picks. Okay, so we're close to the deadline. Um, there are some teams out there that are buying, which is a good thing. Like, you can't tell me that they wouldn't trade us Will Barton in the first round pick for Malcolm Brogdon to be a new starting shooting guard. Or, you know, so something like that. I'm looking for an expiring slash bad contract plus things to potentially get our team better. Go talk to the Denver Nuggets, man. Let us let me try to help them upgrade themselves. You know what? To, to finesse the system a little bit more, I'm going to make uh, Malcolm Brogdon a shooting guard. 
just because he's going to be more valuable to them if they're getting a shooter guard because that's one of the possessions of need for them. So I'm finessing a little bit, but not really because Malcolm Brogdon can play the one and the two. So let me go ahead and talk to the Denver Nuggets. Do you need Malcolm Brogdon to go alongside Jamal Murray and Nikola Jokic? This could be all year. You just need to re-up. You need to just be slightly better. Give us back Will Barton in the last year of his deal. We give you Malcolm Brogdon. You got to make up five more million. That makes it a bit interesting. Okay. I think the workings are here for a little sum sum. You don't have a lot of picks to even trade. And you have one first rounder. They want Goran Dragic. They want to give us Bones. Why is Bones so low overall? We'll take it because Bones ain't done nothing this season. But this is a this is a draft or that's a that's a trade that we're gonna accept. We got a 2027 20, first round pick for Malcolm Brogdon. Might not be the greatest package you could potentially got, but it was a package that we needed. All right. Next, I'm getting rid of Miles Turner. I think he'll be better on another team, and that other team might be this team. Very similar to the trade that we did in their video. But I'm going to try to take um, on Dwight Powell. They got to make about five more million. Why Why everybody cap situations just bonds? Actually, this trade is not going to work. I would have been able to take on um, Davis Bertans instead. Uh, but Davis Bertans is injured, but I'm not at the deadline. Let me go a couple more weeks into the season. Hope that Davis Bertans is, uh, is healthy. So Davis Bertans is no longer injured. As you can see, the salaries make sense. I'm stealing a first round pick though. 2025 top three protected and a 2026 unprotected. Uh, okay. They don't want extra salary. We're making you better though. That That's the crazy part. We're making you better. We're making you better. They want a pick swap in a second. So they want that Lakers pick that we got. I'll do this deal. I'll do that deal. I'll do that deal. Okay. So we got rid of Miles Turner. Um, and that opens up uh, moments for Jabari Smith for us to figure out if he is a part of our real future. His per 36 numbers look decent, I guess. And now we can really bottom out because our starting point guard is Ty Jerome. And we don't have a small four, but that's going to be Chris Dorte. And yeah, so we, we brought in Davis Bertans who... You know, we, we got to take on the money when we can. Buddy Hield is injured, so unfortunately we won't be able to move Buddy Hield at this time. Uh, how injured are you though? Like, are you injured, injured two to four weeks? Dang, the trade deadline is like a week away, my boy. It's like a week away. You're not going to be able to make it. You're not going to make the trade deadline. Look at us winning games after trading away some of our best players. Ty Jerome is now injured. Great. I guess Tyrese is our, our point guard now. Yeah, buddy won't be able to be traded. That's, that's fine. That's okay. I feel okay with our team uh, for this season. We're going to have this draft class in. I don't even know if I loaded it up. I don't know a lot about the 2023 draft class, so... I'm just going to load the one that has the most downloads because I'm just going to say that downloads e equal um, a good, you know what I'm saying? And maybe it is, maybe it's not. But hopefully, since we made some trades to get rid of some of our better players, uh, Reese, are you a most approved player candidate this season? You definitely are. Yeah. Chris Dorte looking good. Rookie of the year candidate. Yeah. We, we feeling good, man. We feeling good about our, our young core. Some of these players going to be off the books. Uh, we might have an opportunity. We might have an opportunity to snag somebody in free agency just because we're going to have some of the most money out of anybody. So that's a good thing. That's a fun thing, potentially. Trey Young wins MVP. Chet Holmgren wins Rookie of the Year. Snubbed my boy Paolo Banchero, but whatever. Here are all the awards. Nate McMillan wins Coach of the Year with the Atlanta Hawks. Um, no most improved player for Tyrese Halliburton. That's fine. We were bad. We were 13th seed again, but it's okay. It's okay, Patriots fans. Next season, we're a play-in team. Guaranteed me. Guaranteed. Kay Cunningham wins... Um, I'm um, MVP. I'm um, the finals MVP. They won a championship very quickly. They traded for Klay Thompson. What does that trade look like? Does that mean Jeremy Grant plays for the Warriors or something? Like, what does that trade even look like? Jeremy Grant plays for the Warriors. All right. Not something we can spend too much time on, especially since they didn't even make the playoffs. Let's move on. It is our time to shine. LeBron just retired. I should have told him he couldn't, but he just retired. Lottery. We were the 13th seed. It puts us... um. At, at the ninth odds, which is just so bad, bro. We're going to jump up, though. We got the ninth overall pick again. And then two second rounders, one from the Suns and then our own. That Suns pick's not too bad. It's the 31st overall pick in this year's draft. Buddy Heald, flipped him. Flipping him right now. $19 million, flipped. The Lakers want to give me another pick at the deadline. Thank you, Lakers Nation. I appreciate you. You finally got your boy Buddy Heald on the team. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and go into the NBA draft. Um, I'm, I don't think I'm trading up this year. I'm just going to see what's available at number nine and just select there. Again, I don't know any of these dudes, but An Anthony Black is here. He's the best guy available, I guess. Welcome to the team. Now, what I will do to get off this money that is Davis Bertans is trade these two seconds. There you go. 
take on that contract. Thank you, Pelicans. And now we have all of the unnecessary money off the books, and we can focus on, oh, a Victor Webbanyana is the first overall pick to OKC. And OKC was just a really good team. So uh, uh, not ideal that they get another star. Ha, ha. All right, y'all. So our team looks dramatically different. I forgot to, to, to hit record again once we get... To save size files, I hit pause on my recording and I forgot. So this is what the team looks like now. At point guard, at a restricted free agency, we picked up Kevin Porter Jr., 23 years old. We only offered him three years, 40 million. And the Rockets were like, nah, we're not going to match that. Cool. Then we brought in Alec Burks, uh, one year or two year, 11 million. And the game vents is like the third third guy. We already had Tyrese with a 92 overall this season. And we simulated a few games already. He's averaging close to 30. That's amazing. Josh Hart, two years, 13 million. Coming off our bench, he's not looking good to start off, but whatever. Uh, small four, Chris Dorte is our guy that we drafted. Anthony Black, as y'all saw. We, see, we brought in Mo Wagner on a two year your deal and then in the last day of free agency uh chris Porzingis was kind of sitting there with no offers and i was like listen we got a lot of money why not throw it at him and see what happens if anything he's a tradable contract later down the line in case a guy a superstar player wants out so so far to start the season it ain't been amazing to start off with sitting at the 11 seed but i told y'all yeah actually forget some to the we're sending to about here um i told y'all this is supposed to be a play-in at the minimum year and uh well not the greatest start for that but hey three game win streak right now four game five game okay Five game win streak. We're fine. We'll be all right. All right, so we're close to the trade deadline, and I want to go get Lonzo Ball. He's a 90 overall at this point. He's on the last year of his deal, but he has a player option, which I'm expecting that he's going to decline because, well, he's a 90 overall at this point. I ain't even look at his counting stats, but the Bulls are bad. So he's averaging 17, 7.5, and, and 5. Um, and his shooting splits are pretty good. He's shooting 46% from three. Like, the look, look, look how weird this is. The 15 and 15 seed in Milwaukee Bucks are buying. I was like, hey, they trash. Can we steal? Can we steal this dude? Nope. They like, nope, which makes sense. He's their franchise's best player, right? Um, right? All right. So the Bulls are bad. They're rebuilding, and Lonzo Ball is not untouchable. Jimmy Butler's too old. He's got three years left on his deal. I don't want to be paying Jimmy Butler when he's 37 years old, unless he can help us win the championship this year or next year. I add him to the list. I would rather take Lonzo Ball over him, but... You know, crazier things than happen than, than us trading for a guy at Jimmy Butler 34 and us winning the championship. All right, let's start off with talking about Lonzo Ball. He's only making $20 million on the year. In this trade, I would be willing to give up Kevin Porter Jr., who's been good for us. He's averaging 13 points per game, five or about six assists, three rebounds. They're going to say no, obviously, because 90 overall versus 79 overall. But I would be willing to throw you Anthony Black. And then our first round pick from this year, unprotected, because I feel good about that pick. And then we also got the Mavericks pick that's top three protected. And the Mavericks aren't very good right now. Deal. Lonzo Ball, welcome to the team. All right. All right. There is some overlap for sure between him and Tyrese Halliburton. But Tyrese is a, is a bucket all of a sudden. Um, so we're, we're fine with having Lonzo as one of the best perimeter defenders in the entire NBA. And then Tyrese Halliburton being a good defender as well. Okay. Now, I think, so Porzingis is back. He's my starting center. He's averaging 15 points per game. Only nine rebounds. Not only nine. Nine rebounds is good. But nine rebounds, two blocks. His shooting splits are bad for his center. He's he's tradable. And and Ben Chiro's down this season as far as overall production because now we you know we added so many players compared to his rookie season. Jalen Smith has been good for us. Porzingis is getting getting traded. Or oh, I'm gonna throw him out there. I'm gonna throw him out there. I'm gonna make Porzingis back to a four. All right, his overall goes down by one. That's fine. Every time I do a video like this, it goes from realism in the first couple seasons to unrealistic kind of fast. Um, and I cannot help that. I, I can't. I'll give you Isaiah Jackson back. You got to give us back a player. In this case, give us back your cheapest player that's not on the two-way. And I guess that is Blake Griffin at 34 years old. They are, they are really excited about potentially getting off Jimmy Butler. So I'll make that deal with you. Jimmy Butler, um, welcome... <laughs> Welcome to the team. Yes, he's old. I understand that. And yes, Chris Dorte was having a good season for us, but he's it's okay if he's a backup. My only problem is Jalen Smith is the only center on the roster now, which is not ideal. I like Jalen Smith, um, but he's not he's not the savior of our season, is the point I'm making. Um Ben Chiro can run some of that. We, we might throw out a wild roster. Now Ben Chiro's only 6'10. We can do this. This is not good. This is not good. This is not good. I'm experimenting quite a bit, for sure. I'm experimenting quite a bit. I start a lineup that looks like this. Jimmy at the four. He's down to a 90. 
He's a good rebounding player. How many of you averaging at the small four position this season, Jimmy? He's averaging seven rebounds this year. You know? We just need to t bulk rebound. We got good rebounders, bro. We're missing some size at 16 and 16 being our tallest players on the team. No, I forgot about Wagner, 6'11". You know what I'm saying? Oh, this is such a hard thing to do because, well, some of these guys are on one-year deals and I'm afraid that I might lose them. Let's go ahead and see. First game after the trade is a big win. And we we let the rebound in battle. All right, let's see. We got a couple games before the end of the trade deadline so we can really decipher whether or not this is what our team is going to look like for this season. Um, another win. We won the rebound in battle again. This time it was Jalen Smith off the bench being big down there. And Lonzo with six. Jimmy Butler with six. That's all I need. I need y'all to get a, get us about six rebounds a game and let our, our center... Uh-oh. And let our center do the, the other parts, you know? This game, we won the rebound battle by a ton. All right, overrated. We got Josh Hart coming off the bench. Duh, Kenny. Josh Hart, the greatest rebounding guard, guy that's under 6'5". I'm going to stop here. You know what would just make me a little bit more secure? If we did just trade for a huge, huge body. You know, somebody that's 7 foot and above. We got Compazzo as a potential piece. Just somebody that's tall. He ain't got to be good. It would just it would ease my nerves just a little bit if we just had some some big time a big time player here. I don't know this guy. I'm sure he might be hooping his butt off in college. I'm not aware of his existence. He is 7'4? Deal. I just needed a tall guy. I got a tall guy. He's 7'4. He might never play for us this entire season, but he's 7'4. So if we need one stop on an inbound pass, somebody to stand on the rim, it's gonna be him. Yeah, triple double from Lonzo. Are we good? We feel good. We ain't lost the game since we made that trade. We're on a fit. Oh, we ain't lost the game in a minute. So we ended as a three seed, which is not bad. Oh, school Henderson. Why does he look so weird? He's small. I know he's just skinny. Anyway, we ended as a three seed, which is not bad. You like Kenny? You did all those trades to be the three seed. That's not that bad. The teams in the Easter Conference are insanely incredible. Insanely incredible. Let me show you. Um, standings. We only lost 26 games in the season. That was the three seed. So, like, the Atlanta Hawks, and say, uh, so Trey Young, Malcolm Brogdon, okay, this team is really, really good. All right, then we got the Wizards, who on paper aren't that good. That's how Washington got these boys hooping. They're the one seed. They, lo they lost 25 games, so we still have a good chance. It's not like we're the three seed by 100 games. We're only the three seed by three games. Um, and the defense was the best in the conference. That's where we're going to hang our hat, and the offense was number four. So, we're going to hang our hat on the defensive side of the ball. Um, we're going to... Manis sees minutes just a little bit better and just shorten the rotation a bit. Josh Hart is cold anyway, so you don't deserve minutes if you're cold. Uh, let's get into it, man. We are the three seed going against the six seeded Boston Celtics who have the same team. These boys ain't made no trades, no nothing in three seasons, it looks like. I mean, at least they're starting five is the same. Game one is a win for the Indiana Pacers. A big one. All right, game two. Game three. It's about the second round that I'm worried about. But the Orlando Magic are beating the two seed. They lost. Okay, they came back. All right, all right. So here we go. The one seed got eliminated, by the way, by the eight. So we ain't worried about the Washington Wizards. They were fake contenders. They were fake decent. This team is not fake decent, I don't think. I think this team is real decent. Trey Young just won MVP last season. They got, they got the same team other than Malcolm Brogdon being there, too, and I think that's a good fit for them. Um, I don't know how they got him, signed him, and free AC traded for him. I don't really know. But here we go. Game one is a Pacer win, and we win by double digits. Thank you. Game two. Ooh, was that a Mo Wagner game off the bench? Absolutely. Mo Wagner game. Triple-double for, for Lonzo with four steals. Great game. Game two is a win game three is a loss game four is a win we didn't sweep them but we got out of there and we're going against the four seeded Toronto Raptors the Toronto Raptors they got the same exact lineup how far are we into this thing where majority of the teams have the same lineup are we just two years in are we three years in I've lost track of time but the same roster but they're really solid Pascal's at the five for them that's a good matchup for us though Pascal is a dog He's about the same size as Paolo. So it's like not like they got a huge height advantage over us. We win game one, a 40-piece from Tyrese. Game two is a win, a 40-piece from Tyrese. Go ahead, average 40 in this series. Okay, 33, and we lost. So we need you to we need you to drop 40, my boy. We need you to drop 40 for us to win this. Oh, we need you to drop 40, my boy. Every game that you haven't dropped 40 is a loss. Every game that you haven't dropped 40 is a loss for us. Okay. All right, let's, fig let's figure out what it is. Let's figure out what it is. Um, game five, uh, we lost on the glass. Okay. Game four, we also lost on the glass. Ah, that was the, I tell you, bro, that was the one thing that I knew that might have hurt us. Might have hurt us. Um, three, two, three, two series. Are we at home here? 
No, we're on the road. Okay. All right. Let's go Pacers. Let's go Pacers. We started off 2-0. You don't want to be a team that loses 2-0. And, and we won't. Okay, not, not here. Not here, at least. We forced a game seven and a very convincing win where Jalen Smith off the bench was the best player or maybe most impactful player. I don't know. You can decide for yourself because even a Jimmy Butler 15, 9, 6 steals is insane. So either way, we forced a game seven. See, they still running like a 10 man. That's where you that's where you hurt yourself. At home. And the field house. I don't remember. Banker's Life Field House. Is that what the arena is? Something like that. The field house. It's not looking good. Oh, man. These boys let us down. Well, I mean, it's still a chance. But it's not looking ideal. Please go on the run. They're not going on the run. We lost. Ah! I felt good about this team. They went on to win the championship. Shout out to Freddie Magic. But, like... All right, we got some big decisions to do. Big things to, or big decisions to make, I guess. So we kept the gang back together. We matched Tyrese's um, offer from, I don't even remember what team threw him one. The gang is back together. Jimmy Ball is slightly worse, but that's fine. We're not expecting anything um, crazy from him. The depth is definitely lost a little bit, but I think that's okay. These guys have a complete season playing together this year. They're still getting better as a, as a group. Um, and you know what? For the... For the regular season, we don't, we can we can run a 10. You know what I'm saying? I don't need my dudes to be super tired going into the play. Actually, no. We're running a 9. No way that this guy down here is getting some minutes. Joe West, West Cap. No, no, no. Um, but, yeah, okay. So, we're, we're going to run a 9. Uh, we still have, like, three about 90 overall players. And then Ben Chiro's down here as well. Still progressing kind of slow, but it's only year number three. I don't know why I'd be feeling like this is, like, so late into the future. It's not. Big game from g game number one. Yeah, thank you, Tyrese. Let's let's go hoop, bro. Let's go win this championship. Season whatever wrapped up, and the MVP of the league is Tyrese Halliburton. This is the season. This is the season, ladies and gentlemen. I don't need to see any other awards other than we win a coach of the year as well. Right, Rick Carlisle is our coach. We won coach of the year as well. This is the season. This is the season. I don't want to hear nothing else about it. Wait, who is all NBA third team? I'm sorry. I shouldn't have breezed through that. I'll be back. Yeah. Chris Stasrazigas gets traded away from our team. And the very next season, all NBA third team. What what type of statistics did you put up, Chris Stapps? 21, 8, and 3. I mean, he's, he's in the small four, power four position. Did y'all make the playoffs? I would love to see y'all in the playoffs. Y'all made, the, you did not. You didn't even make the play in. Cleveland, though, everybody has progressed. And they got a guy at the small four whose name I've never seen before. Must be in the 2022 or 2023 draft class. Um, I feel good about going against this team. I know we're smaller than them, and they got good defense. But... Are you kidding? Are you kidding me? We're going to a seven. We got a center and we got a, a wing. Stop playing. We are not losing in the first round to a play-in team. Thank you. Oh my God. We're forced to game seven. We win by a good amount. I should see who's killing us so we can make adjustments. Is it? Is it the bigs? Not necessarily, man. Not necessarily. It's not. It's not the bigs. Um, they're just winning. I mean, it's not a single a single player. Game seven, you know we got a simcast in game seven and hope that we win. We're at home. We lost. I think we lost our last game seven at home, but we started off this one good. Thank God. This is not gives me hope, a lot of hope for the rest of this season. Um, but hey, we took care of business. That was a playing team, by the way, a playing team. This is a team that beat us last season, and now they got Jalen Brown instead of Gary Trent. So they're better, I would say, because Jalen Brown is a stud. Game one is a win for the Pacers. Game two is a win but that's how we started off last season but this time it's just a little bit different i hope do not let them come back thank you brooklyn Kyrie, katie and simmons are all together still but now they got karis avert back in town and they also got nikola vucevic that's a solid start in five but look at us we got three close to 90s 90s and above i feel good you know come on we got this game one thank you lonzo is gonna win finals mvp if 40 point triple double lonzo game two is a win Okay, then he slowed down a little bit to let Tyrese do his thing. The league MVP, 3-0. We, we just can't sweep a team, but we get to the finals to go against the Minnesota Timberwolves, who have lost Carl Anthony Towns. This team is not great. I'm not going to underestimate them because they got this far. But this team don't strike no fear in my heart without Carl Anthony Towns there. How did the, Anthony Edwards got to be averaging 60 in the playoffs. Let me see. Um, he's averaging 31, so yeah, not 60, but half of that. All right, here we go. Four game series. One, two, three, four. Tyrese Halliburton wins finals MVP, and just like that, 
It took us a few seasons, it's, but we, we got here. We got here. The 2025 NBA Finals were won by the Indiana Pacers. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Peace.